And it sounds like the China there was a focal point then for the G7 and foreign ministers who met. Uh, it was. Uh, they issued basically a laundry list of all the issues that uh, the G7 has with Chinese policy. So you mentioned Xinjiang and uh, the allegations of human rights abuses there, also Tibet. Uh, I, I think especially uh, something that will really get under Beijing's skin will be uh, the call for Taiwan to have meaningful participation in the World Health Organization's forums. Uh, they also, the foreign ministers also had a 90-minute discussion uh, yesterday, or I'm sorry, on Tuesday, where they talked about Chinese use of economic coercion and what that would mean for the countries in the G7. OK, and Europe as well, taking steps, material steps then, to push back against China. What are the details? So uh, the Biden administration has really been leaning on uh, America's traditional allies. And a few months ago, they imposed sanctions against Chinese officials for practices in Xinjiang, and then China sort of retaliated with uh, sanctions against uh, e members of the EU parliament. And now the EU is saying as long as those sanctions that Beijing put in place are there, they are not going to ratify this trade and investment agreement that was reached at the end of 2020. And so that's a, that was quite the feather in Xi Jinping and China's cap when they were able to do that. That looks to be uh, a bit more difficult to come to fruition. Yeah, negotiated over seven years. Uh, also hearing from the U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai on the trade deal uh, with China. Do we have more clarity on how trade and that strategy is shaping up for the Biden administration? I, I think the Biden administration wants some level of continuity between administrations, U.S. policy to be continuous, and that's what Catherine Tai, the new U.S. trade rep, really talked about. Uh, I think really important is she said she has not yet had any conversations with Vice Premier Liu He, obviously the Chinese official who negotiated the Trade One Phase Pact, uh, Trade Pact uh, for the Chinese side. But she did say she expects to have those conversations soon. So I think we are going to get an update pretty quickly.